Hey everyone, it's Alex again, and I am here to give you a special 21st Critics' Choice Awards update. We have a new nominee in the Best Picture category, so now the race is up from 10 films to 11 films, and that film is none other than Star Wars Episode VII The Force Awakens. Um, if you were wondering why Star Wars didn't get any Critics' Choice Awards nominations before, that was because Critics' Choice Awards nominations came out on Monday, December 14th. At that time, critic screenings for The Force Awakens had not yet been held. Uh, the studio had been keeping the film under wraps for as long as possible in order to avoid spoilers from getting leaked out onto the internet. And if you've seen The Force Awakens, you'll know that there's definitely a lot of spoiler moments in that movie, none of which I'm going to reveal here. But the Broadcast Film Critics Association, uh, you know, was upset that they didn't get a chance to see the movie before it was time for them to fill out their ballots. And so I guess they took a poll amongst their members asking them, if you had seen Star Wars The Force Awakens before uh, the deadline, would you have put it on your ballot? And an overwhelming majority of them said yes. And apparently there is a loophole in the Critics' Choice Awards in the Best Picture category where if a film has not been screened prior to the deadline for critics to fill out their ballots and if the critics see the film afterwards and really like it and if enough and if enough of them like it for it to get nominated then it can be added into the Best Picture category if there is a majority vote. Uh, according to reports I've read the only other time this has been done was back in 2000 with uh, the movie Castaway which was, I guess, added, which was added to the Best Picture category after not having been in there in the first place because critics didn't get a chance to see it before it was time to fill out their ballots. Now, will Star Wars win the Critics' Choice Award for Best Picture? Probably not. I mean, it, it's a great movie, but I don't think any critic is going to name it the number one movie of the year. I'm a huge Star Wars fan myself, and I absolutely love The Force Awakens, but even I wouldn't name it the best movie of the year. Um... As to how it'll do with the Oscars getting in the Best Picture category, I have no idea. There's a good chance it will, there's a good chance it won't. Technical nominations are what it's probably mostly going to get, which is well-deserved. But, like, um, like the visual effects, John Williams' score, the sound editing, the sound mixing, maybe even cinematography, I think Star Wars is the best chance of getting nominated in those categories. But back to the Critics' Choice. Uh, with this uh, Best Picture loophole, with this loophole of new nominations, Best Picture is the only category it can apply to. So we're not going to we're, we're not going to see any nominations for Star Wars in terms of things like visual effects, score, etc. Uh, but for those of you who are yearning for Star Wars to get some kind of Best Picture nomination in any award show, no matter what it was, it got a Best Picture nomination here. So I hope that makes you happy. Well, that's all I have to say on this matter, So, but be sure to check back for more videos in the future on all the upcoming award shows. See you guys later. Bye.